Hello again, and welcome to week two of pre-training. When we left last week, Ron was going to spend this week trying to get Sam to walk on his left-hand side. During this past week, Ron has also introduced Sam to a lead, and he has been building on his retrieval with a tennis ball. Ron has been training Sam for 15 minutes each day, sometimes twice a day for the past week. When Ron begins his training with Sam, he first lets him run around the field for a few minutes. He does this because Sam is still young and full of excitement. This small period of running around will hopefully calm him down and then he'll be more focused on learning new things. Last week we introduced Sam to the tennis ball and Ron has recognised that Sam really likes this ball. so. He's going to use this to his advantage by using it to encourage Sam to walk on his left hand side. This technique will be the basic step that Ron will use to correct Sam. And when he uses this method over and over, Sam will eventually think of Ron's left as the correct side. This in turn will make walking on the lead a lot easier. In this particular example, you will notice that Sam is walking on Ron's left hand side with the aid of the tennis ball. But as soon as Ron throws it and they both head off to fetch it, Sam reverts back to his old habits. So time and patience is needed to fix this problem and that's what Ron will be working on in the coming weeks on pre-training. Now that Ron is on his way to getting Sam to walking on his left hand side, he's going to introduce him to a lead. On the very first time you place the lead onto your dog, you may have to hold it as it will not know what you're going to do to it. So call your dog and hold it as Ron is doing here in this clip and then place the lead over your dog's head. I'm sure if your dog is as excitable as Sam then you may encounter a few problems such as biting the lead or excessive pulling. To solve these types of problems you may just have to be firm but not aggressive. If your dog bites the lead simply tell it no in a stern tone of voice but never shout at your dog. We never want to frighten or intimidate your dog. These same basic principles apply for if your dog is always pulling on the lead. Be firm and give it a small light tug. Never yank hard or strangle your dog because this could cause your dog to have a fear of the lead and then this will cause major problems for you both now and in the future. Now that Ron has introduced the lead to Sam and Sam has no reason to fear it, Ron will attempt to walk Sam whilst on the lead. In this clip you may see that Ron still has to hold Sam in place to put the lead on him but with time and practice this won't be a problem. When Ron first starts to walk with Sam you may notice that Sam wants to walk on Ron's right but Ron gives the slightest pull on the lead to get Sam onto the correct side. Ron is now in firm control of Sam. He is holding the lead so that Sam cannot stray too far from Ron and Ron is also interacting with Sam as he walks with him. He is constantly talking to him looking at him and maintaining constant control of him. This clip isn't the perfect example of how to walk a dog on a lead, but now that Ron has introduced Sam to the lead, he can practice this every day and by next week you should see a vast improvement. Last week Ron introduced the tennis ball to Sam and started to teach him basic retrieval. So over the past week Ron has been building upon this and you may notice a couple of things. One is that Ron can now throw the ball further for Sam to fetch. This is just down to repetition and practice. The other thing you may notice is that Ron has to hold Sam while he throws the ball. This is because Sam hasn't yet learned to track the scent of the ball as he's still very young. And he's still very keen on fetching the ball because it's seen as a toy. So Ron holds him back so that Sam won't head out prematurely and so that Sam has a chance to see where the ball went. This way Sam won't have any problems finding it or bringing it back to Ron. Now remember training gun dogs takes a lot of time and practice. 
so don't expect too much from your dog too soon. Progress slowly and hopefully this way you will develop a tighter bond with your dog and also get the most from it. Next week on pre-training, Ron will try to get Sam to sit on command. He will also explain and give you some tips on how to stop your dog jumping up at you. And he will also keep building on the items covered this week, such as walking on the left, retrieval and lead training.